And as Nigerians celebrate Workers' Day, not all the 36 states are prepared to pay the 30,000 Naira minimum wage as approved and signed by the federal government. A barely 20 uh, states say they are ready. Now, the governor spoke on the controversial matter after President Muhammad Buhari signed the new minimum wage amendment bill into law. Now, how will the issues that may arise from this be resolved? Well, I have a public affairs analyst with me right here in the studio, uh, Shaye Uyitade. Uh, good to have you. And uh, happy May Day. Same to you. Okay, now that's a, a fundamental question that's just been raised there. Yeah. Uh, out of 36 states, only about 20 really say they are ready to uh, pay uh, the new minimum wage. That's uh, what do you think uh, likely to fall out from this? Well, I think um, uh, just like the TUC, the organized labor have said, they are likely to confront uh, the states that are not willing to pay. That, so yeah, that's it, might be, it might be confrontational immediately after this um, celebration. Okay, so this is a celebration that's going to be uh, largely short-lived. Uh, let's even look at it, the larger picture. Do you think the Nigerian worker today is happy uh, against the background of the new minimum wage that's been signed and, of course, issues raised about casualization and, uh, you know, outsourcing of staff? They shouldn't be because if you look at that vis-a-vis -vis the inflation rates, the challenges uh, around cost of living, standard of living, uh, I think the Nigerian worker deserves... 30,000 Naira and more. And uh, the primary purpose of government, according to section 14, subsection 2B says, the primary purpose of government is for the security and welfare of the people. So at this point in time, I think the governors must accept the responsibility to think outside of the box and generate IGR that will be able to take care of their workers. And you think uh, they have what it takes to actually begin to think outside of the box. Yes. Now, the, the uh, um, Labour Minister, Chris Ngege, has said, pay the new, min uh, the new minimum wage or face um, or risk sanctions? Uh, well, as in a, di a direct order to the state government? Absolutely. Right? Oh, I think that's right. Because um, at this point in time, if you look at um, the induction ceremony that was conducted in Abuja, uh, the vice president hosted incoming governors and all of that, and he charged them to actually do um, a lot of uh, drive around IGR, and they should think outside of the box. And he gave quite a lot of uh, lines that the governor should go home and really think. There's a lot to... Uh, 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 gain as revenue, especially in the 21st century, outside of the normal going to Abuja to wait for government allocation, federal government allocation to state, because the complaint is always that, oh, what they give to us as allocation is not enough to even take care of our workers at home. But if you think outside of the box, you can be able to meet up with that challenge. Of course, they were told that directly at the induction. But let's even look at the issue of uh, job creation and em employment. Yeah. It's a major challenge in Nigeria. It stands uh, at about uh, over 23 uh, million Nigerians are oh, jobless now. Complete. And a lot of experts have said the best way, the only way, major way that you can actually achieve that is to create a 24-hour economy. Yeah. That as long as Nigeria's economy uh, shuts down, the, the achieving employment will yeah, continue to yeah. be a priority. Very right, because the night season, we are shut down, the economy is shut down, completely shut down. And it's unlike that in many other African countries, not even going to the Western world. If you go to Kenya, the nightlife is actually uh, buoyant, economically speaking. So I don't know what we're doing right now, and I think it's a serious challenge for the state governors to begin to think outside of the bus, put on the 24th century thinking cap, and uh, we see our way out of all these woods. All right, thank you very much, uh, Shaye Oyetade, speaking you. to us on uh, a day like this, thank on May Day. You. Thank you very much for having me.